Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to today's video and I'll be showing you how to get the no hit run on Inferno difficulty for defeating the final boss nemesis on Resident Evil 3. You're going to unlock a couple of achievements for this. I The way that I did my runs, just a bit of background, is the first run that I did when I first booted up the game, I did the no box run and I ran that on the standard, just basic normal difficulty. Got my achievement and also that gave me the currency to buy the in-game coins which I recommend you purchase and this is the entire reason I'm making this video because I didn't use them to the, the most of my advantage. For some reason stupidly as well I decided to get the no hit or well, no hit but the no healing or where you can only use one healing item on this inferno difficulty. It was pretty stupid of me I probably could have done it a, a different way around or just played the game again but I wanted to keep my runs down to the, a minimum of two which I managed to do for the trophy. It is again a cheese method, you can purchase an infinite rocket launcher and lots of I guess additional content from the PlayStation, Xbox or whatever store. Uh, in the UK it was about 2 or £3 so retrospectively it's not very expensive to do this and I guess cheese the trophy. Everything that you do pay for you can unlock naturally in the game just by grinding it and doing achievements but that is quite long. So. In the, it, it took me a few hours to do this in all honesty and I didn't equip all of the coins, the in-game coins that give you extra damage, extra dodging, extra healing and recovery and things like that. I only equipped half and I didn't realise that there were more in the store for me to purchase. So yeah, just, just play the game once through, just play it naturally and you should have enough coins to purchase everything or all of the coins that you need that I've equipped in this video. What you want to do is then you can pop them on and then you can go and fight Nemesis on Inferno difficulty. This is the run with no hit. Bearing in mind that I was looking at guides on, on you know, that professional speedrunners doing no hit stuff with pistols. It's really embarrassing that I couldn't do this with a rocket launcher. Decline. Embarrassing. <laughs> Call was a decline. But there is a little bit of RNG to things. The way that he can hit you and things like that, he can get you in a, I guess, a stun lock so you can't move. There will probably be loads of instances in this video of that happening, but by having all of the, or as many recovery items as possible, it means that you don't need to heal. So again, if you're struggling to do this on Inferno difficulty and you're not worried about healing, then obviously you can find some time to heal, which would make it 10 times easier. But at the same time, if you're like me and you've decided to do the only use one heal and tie that in with your Inferno run, then this video should be perfect for you. So yeah, again, I guess just from playing the boss and dying tragically a few times you will probably learn the kind of patterns that he does. You can watch YouTube videos on it but I didn't really go into too much depth on those in all honesty because I think learning the mechanics is like a Dark Souls game or, or something like that. It, this boss just felt ridiculous on Inferno and that, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll keep the clip running of, of how I did it, maybe you can replicate my moves. but. It was so much easier using all of the coins and then of course the infinite rocket launcher. You could probably pair this with the free burst pistol as well, I've seen some speedruns doing that. But in my case I just found it a lot easier to use the rocket launcher and all of the coins. That's the main thing from this video that when I was doing my research not many people seem to encounter the problem that I did. Hence why I'm making this video and I, I do hope it helps but I think there's probably going to be about maybe one other person that's decided to do this run in such a stupid backwards way that saving your no healing or one heal run for the Inferno difficulty. Stupidity? I know. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Comment down below if you managed, if this guy helped you and you managed to get the achievement. Anyways, I'll, I'll play the clip out and let you see how it, how it goes. Catch you later. Bye.